Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on making text within a shape. I have some other tutorials on text within a shape and text around a shape, uh, but I have a digital scrapbooker that's struggling a little bit with it, and so I want to make this quick tutorial uh, to enforce um, the other ones, and uh, you can find them all um, on hummiesworld.com. Uh, I've got them all uh, embedded on pages so you can find them all. And if you need a link, um, certainly do ask. I have uh, that this tutorial is different than the others because I have two um, rasterized shapes here on my. Uh, layout. Um, since this is for digital scrapbookers, it's not really a layout but yet because I only have two shapes on it, but it could be if I kept adding to it. And so in my past tutorials, um, I used the shape tool and in this tutorial, I want to show you how to do it with elements that might be in your digital scrapbooking kit. Um, so you could pull in a tag from your, one of your digital scrapbooking kits and have it um, have the text within that tag or um, this would be a border um, like a wave border for uh, a swimming uh, layout um, and so uh, these are actually shapes that I have in my store and they come in packs with lots of other tag shapes and lots of other border shapes that you can purchase. And if you want to link to that, please ask me and um, I'll certainly find those for you. And there's actually uh, tutorials that go with each of these packs of shapes, um, teaching you how to use them, how to group them with uh, papers and uh, whatnot to make your own tags. So I'm going to go ahead and get on with the tutorial and you're going to be amazed at how simple and easy this is. So I'm going to make this tag invisible for right now so we can just work on one at a time. Hold down the control key and click on the thumbnail of the shape layer and you're going to see you get uh, these wonderful beautiful marching ants that are also known as a selection. Uh, click on your paths and if this um, window is not available, then maybe it's not active. So click on the window drop down menu and double click on paths and um, it will open up and you can drag it over here into your palettes. So where we are in the paths palette and depending on what version, this is a full version of Photoshop. Depending on what version you're in, it may be at the top, it may be at the bottom, you know, things always change. But you want to find this icon here. It's a circle with four little squares. It's for creating a working path. Now, it's really important. See, it says make work path from selection. You, that kind of, the pop-up kind of came off off the screen. Uh, make sure you get that one and not this one that says create new path. Uh, that there's a difference between a, a, just a path and a working path. So I'm going to make a working path from the selection and um, then I'm going to go over here, activate my text tool and now if I move my mouse outside of the shape uh, it's got a little squiggly line in the icon, in the mouse icon, and if I come down here inside the shape, it's got a circle. So I'm going to choose, uh, uh, if you put it, if you get the squiggly, it makes your text outside the shape, and if you come in and you have the circle, it makes your text um, inside the shape. And so I am just going to click down and I'm going to just begin typing um, let's hit the waves let's hit the waves and uh, I'm going to to make this go faster copy whoops copy that text control C and hit control V just to get that text in there and so you can see it's uh, stayed yeah look at that it went outside the shape on the bottom <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and 
make this smaller. But you can see for the, the most part, I don't know why it went below it, but uh, it is, if, let's go back to our layers palette and make sure I'm on that text and hit it some more. It's pasting it with uh, the larger size. So um, there we have it. You see, uh, you know, now that I made it uh, smaller, you can see it kind of staying within that shape and how it's choosing the, the words up there on the top. So let's do this again. I'm going to make these two invisible and I'm going to work on the um, tag. And so I'm going to hold down the control key and click on the layer with the tag shape. I'm going to go to my paths palette. I'm going to choose Click Working Path and activate my text tool and make sure I get that circle icon and start typing. This is my text that is staying within the inside of my digital scrapbooking tag. So there you have it. It's just that easy. So hopefully for any of you that need reinforcement um, on how to do this uh, and uh, you will see um, how simple it is and you come back here and you have um, your text layers uh, separate from the other layers. So it's just that easy. And please do, if you get stuck still, ask me questions and we can maybe get on um, Skype and I can, or not Skype, Google, a Google Hangout, a private Google Hangout, that's best. Uh, Skype, you have to have the pro version and um, you can click and show me your screen and I can help you do it. I'm always willing to help people. See ya.